Hey guys, we're gonna learn a new word of the day today. So let's get ready. Remember, when we're reading words with suffixes, we read the base word first, then the whole word. Same thing when we spell, right? We tap out and spell the base word first and then add the suffix. So here we go. Let's find out what our new word is. I want everybody to tap this out, then I want someone to raise their hand and tell us what this word is. Ready? P, I, N, pin, pins. Who can tell us what that word is? I want you to read the base word, then I want you to read the whole word. That's right, pin, pins. And how would we mark that word? Raise your hand and tell us how to mark the word. That's right, we underline the base word and circle the suffix. Awesome job. Now we're gonna check out some other words. Okay, let's read this word. Everybody get your hands up. W, I, N, win, and then we say wins. Like she wins the race. Let's look at this word. T -e -l. Tell tells. She tells great stories. Okay. So here's our word pins. She set up the pins, like bowling pins. She set up the pins. At some point, you're gonna put this in your student notebook under the vocabulary section. So you're gonna write pins, and you're gonna write, she sets up the pins. Now we're gonna do make it fun. And did you make it fun in a minute? I'm gonna to have to um, make my screen a little smaller because watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a sentence scramble. I scrambled the sentences, you guys have to unscramble them. So in each of those slides, the sentences, all the words are on the um, sides of the whiteboard. So you're going to have to raise your hand and tell us what order to put these slides in or these words in. I have a question, though, before we start. How am I going to know what word it starts with? What clue do I have to know which word is the first word? Somebody raise their hand and tell us. That's right, the tall sentence frame, because sentences always, always, always start with a capital letter. And how do I know how a sentence ends? That's right, I look for the punctuation frame, because sentences always end in punctuation. Okay, so let's look at these words. Mops, there are six. Raise your hand and tell your teacher what order this should really be in. That's right. There are six mops and then my period. Awesome job. Let's look at the next one. Here's the next one. While you guys are figuring it out, look at that. It says the words are Dan at mall, period, shops the here. So look at this. When someone thinks they figured it out, give your teacher a thumbs up so we can put it in the right order. Okay, let's see.
Let's check and see if you were right. Dan shops here at the mall. Everybody say that sentence. Dan shops here at the mall. Let's look at the last one. Our words are she, on, sits, desk, the, and here. Once you know the order, give your teacher a thumbs up. Let's see if you were right. She sits here on the desk. Everybody read that. Hold on until it gets bigger. <laughs> she sits here on the desk. Everybody say that. She sits here on the desk. Let's go back and read our three sentences together. The first sentence, everybody read it with me. There are six mops. The next one said, Dan shops here at the mall. And the last one said, she sits here on the desk. Great job.